Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Having my coffee this morning. Still cold out. And uh, wanted to do a video on a pretty basic topic. And uh, I was fortunate enough to spend some time with a, a friend of mine here recently wrenching on my truck. And uh, it was a job I've done before on other vehicles, but never on my truck. And uh, I actually put the parts up before the inflation hit. So I basically got off uh, dirt cheap on this particular repair. And what that was is it was a brake job on my uh, pickup truck. And I wanted to make this point. Um, now, from what I've talked to the old timers and uh, different people that I know online that I've talked to that have been through civil conflicts and different economic collapses and stuff and uh, other things, uh, the people that always seem to fare the best are the ones that either can live with less. It's sort of a combination. They can live with less. They can uh, fend for themselves. They either produce something or they fix something. If you can fix things and you can repair things outside of the system, of course, you are in a pretty good position to take care of yourself if something bad happens. Whether it's fixing an appliance, whether it's fixing a vehicle, whether it's fixing another human being, these things all have a value that transcends our economic system and they are something that is barterable. And uh, when people start talking about barter and prepping and stuff, you, you get all these weird videos where people are going to trade little trinkets and things after some type of collapse. If you're fighting for food and you're trying to keep your vehicle running and you're trying to keep some type of normalcy in your societal life, trading trinkets at the local apocalypse flea market's probably not going to be at the top of your list. That stuff's probably not going to be near as valuable as what people put value on that stuff now. I know for me, I don't need any of that stuff now. Why would I need any of that stuff afterward? You know, things like doctors, medicine, mechanics, handymen, even people that know how to uh, handle different security problems. Those are the things that people are going to need if something bad happens. And going back to the mechanic thing a little bit, there's nuances to, you know, mechanics and fixing things. I've done brake jobs before, but I've never done a brake job on that specific vehicle. Now I know how to do a brake job on that specific vehicle, so I just added to my skill set, basically. If I had to repeat what I witnessed here just recently helping out my friend, I could, I could do that. So I just added to my base on something that I was had to do anyway, so it's not anything that... Uh, you know, was out of the way as far as taking extra amount of my time or whatever. And uh, stuff like repairs, there might not be a car dealership. In fact, I'm pretty sure if there's some type of economic collapse, there's not going to be a car dealership because, you know, if there's, that's a, that's a thing now. One of the first things that people don't buy when they don't have any money is a new car. And look at what the price of vehicles are. Well, if there's no new vehicles going out or if that production capacity has went to, let's say, a war effort, those those dealerships are going to close up. So then that goes back to independent mechanics or shade tree mechanics, like what my friend is. So keep in mind um, when you're prepping and stuff that it's not always material items. It's not always a stockpile. It's sometimes know-how and uh, skills and stuff how to repair things whether it be uh, mechanical or people but I just wanted to make that point here in this uh, quick video because it was just something that uh, I had to do here uh, recently and I uh, just wanted to let people know that and uh, kind of put that back in their uh, in their mind and think about how that uh, they could be valuable after an SHTF. Anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment out of this video. As always, you guys have a good one.